What's up guys, it's Tyler from the Aquatic Journal. In today's video, we're making a 3D background for a turtle tank that I was setting up. It's actually been set up at this point for a couple months. I'm just now kind of getting to this video. So at the end of this video, you get to see what it looks like now. It's been set up for many, many weeks at this point. Um, so I'll show you how good it's looking. Just know that I did mess this up at the beginning. So make sure to watch the whole video because I did do quite a few things wrong in the beginning. I'll explain that throughout the video and how I kind of fixed it and made it all right. So if you're looking to make a 3D background, I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope you enjoy the video. Today we're going to go through the process of starting a 3D background on my 180 gallon. The stuff you're kind of going to need, you're going to need some insulation foam. I got a few different kinds here, obviously the pink kind, this white. This stuff's also white. I went with one inch. You can go with whatever size really you want to work with. Another thing you're going to need is just some general uh, concrete or cement, whatever you call it. Um, and the next things you're going to need is just a utility knife and some silicone. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just measure this tank. So I already know it's six feet long, basically minus the glass, which it's half inch glass. And I'm just going to add another quarter. So basically I'm going to cut six feet minus an inch and a quarter off lengthwise and then I'm going to cut it height wise to match as well. What you're seeing me do here is trim out the styrofoam to the length and width that I wanted and then basically I just draw it out a simple design that I thought would look good and from there I just started cutting styrofoam to kind of layer it on top of there. Basically all I'm doing is laying silicone on the back and then sticking them down and I just go ahead and let that cure for 24 hours. This is the part of the video where I tell you I pretty much did the whole thing wrong and I'll show you why. This is the concrete that I moved, used high strength concrete mix and the problem was as you can see pretty much all of it falls off. So, so obviously we don't want that. So besides the fact that I used the wrong concrete I also didn't scuff it up. You can see I've scuffed it up a little bit here. But the surface is super smooth, so it doesn't really lead to the concrete sticking very well. So basically the two things we're going to do, one, we're going to use Portland cement instead of the standard cement we used. And two, we're going to come through here and kind of scuff all this up and hopefully promote a little better adhesion. So now I just took like a regular fork and you can see it's all kind of scuffed up now. So hopefully that'll promote a little better adhesion. Now we're going to mix up some cement, start pouring it out. Okay, 
Sorry I time lapsed that in portrait, but this is the first layer done. You can still see some white in here. I mean, like, like right up there, you can see some white, but this is just the first layer. So we'll let this dry and we'll come back and put a second coat on later. The first layer has completely dried pretty much. You can see it's a little wet here, but I actually already started laying on the second coat. So I'm just basically patching like you can see here, and there's some white spots. So we'll mix some cement, try and cover up all the white spots, and then we should be good. This is the consistency I was kind of looking for on those first layers, possibly a little thicker than this. For the last layer, we're gonna pour a little more cement here, make it a little thicker, just to give it a little more texture here at the end. So we stood them up and they're looking pretty good once I got them all stood up. The problem that we're running into, these are three feet tall, which is done on purpose. The tank's only two feet tall. So basically we're putting in a layer of styrofoam. The goal here is that this will clear the lip so that our background can come, you know, up yay high instead of down there and clear the lip of the tank. So we're gonna silicone some more of these in and one on the side over there and we'll come back. And now is the fun part. We have that in there. Now we need to get that background up and into the tank. You can see where our problem is gonna be is that there is an outlet here that we're gonna to have to cut out still. That one we can just go around so we don't have to worry about that. And then we need to cut that size, that side, excuse me, to fit. So this is gonna be interesting. I'll set this up and hopefully we can get this in today. Estimated how much silicone I was gonna need, but anyways, we got it up. You can see we cut that out. We'll try and make that look a little better here shortly by you know putting something in there to block it off. We're using these PVC pipes to hold it up. We siliconed it to the back, so you can see there. We gotta figure out what to do with the outcome, but we'll figure that out pretty shortly. So I just need to silicone in that side, but I have to trim this down so that it will fit there, and then that side will be done. We can put the sand in, get the fish in, and uh, yeah, get this thing going. Still need to build the shelf as well for the turtles. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The last step is I took the supports out. So what I actually did is I took these, um, these cinch ones, I cut off the end. So I'm basically just gonna stab this through, crank it back down from the backside, and it should be good. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but it will definitely do for what I'm trying to get done here, and it should hold this tank together. We're back another day working on this turtle tank. What we've got done today so far, as you can see on the ground here, this is the shelf for the turtles to climb up out of the water. I cemented both sides of it because you'll be able to actually see it from the bottom. So I just want to make sure the whole thing's covered in cement. The next step that we have to do is foam in all the white spots. I mean, you can see the side is all white. And for that, I'm using this great stuff outdoor. Um, it's actually a gray foam. So we're going to try this and see how it goes. the sides in this side in that back corner there in, and then behind this I don't want any fish to get behind the display because they'll get stuck and probably die so we foamed it all I'm gonna let it dry for a couple seconds and while it's still wet I'm gonna try and sprinkle some um, concrete on it and hopefully that's gonna give it slightly darker color and make it blend in a little more so fingers crossed now it's another day we have the shelf for the turtles all put together. It's pretty sturdy for the most part, actually. 
and we're going to go ahead and try and get it in the tank. So to do that, what we're going to do actually is figure out where the water level is. It's going to be somewhere right in here-ish area. We're going to run some toothpicks in, stab it in, and then foam underneath it and hope that will hold it up. I believe it should. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the foam looks pretty bad right now, but that'll get fixed. Once it kind of hardens, I'll color it in a little bit and I got to clean up this mess. Obviously it's on the bottom here, but this is the shelf. You can see where the drains are. So the drain is here. This first level should be about two inches or an inch and a half underwater here, hopefully which means that the turtle should be able to swim up on here and get out. I'm a little concerned about this, but we can figure that out kind of once we get there. And yeah, other than that, I think it's looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Thanks for watching guys. As you could see, I messed up quite a few things during this project, but I think it ended up looking pretty good. It's not perfect by any means. It's not something, something super amazing, incredible. But for what I'm trying to do, I think it looks awesome. It gives this tank a lot of depth. And with what I have in it with the koi and the turtles and the convict cichlids, I think it's just a really great tank. I really enjoy sitting down and watching it on a regular basis. So I hope you guys watch this video and make your own 3D backgrounds. If you do, I'd love to see them. You can share them with me on TikTok or Instagram or even just leave a comment on this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Check out my store for sure, aquaticjournal.org. And again, check us out on TikTok and Instagram. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.